Now, can you talk about why hundreds of Trump supporters did attack the Capitol and fight through that day? If it wasn't Donald Trump wanting them to do that, was it the FBI manipulating them? Was it Antifa? What happened? We, we have tried to get those answers. I mean, one of the most searing pieces of evidence we developed was when George Hill, a former FBI official whistleblower, said that he couldn't get information out of the Washington field office regarding cases that they were pushing out to Boston because the Washington field office said they had so many confidential human sources uh, that were in, in the group that they wouldn't share that information. When there were follow-up questions, directed at Christopher Wray, at Lisa Monaco, at Merrick Garland, both in the House and Senate, they got real squirrely as to whether or not those federal assets had increased the level of criminal acuity. So uh, as I think Mr. Uh, Biggs said during his remarks, there were people who were violent at that riot, and they should not have been. But that is a very different thing than declaring that President Trump engaged in an insurrection. He wasn't here. He said he wanted people to be peaceful and patriotic. And like, I never even really, like insurrection isn't a term we interacted with frequently before getting to Congress. Like you never heard about the insurrection on the Little League board or at the local Kiwanis Club. But because it has this legal significance, it's been lashed to President Trump unfairly. And that's what we're trying to remediate. Well, I'll give you a follow-up. Uh, uh, say, incidentally, there might have been people who had been trailing folks from other states who came here, but that they didn't do anything to participate. Yes, it, it, it came as no surprise to us that the Washington field office didn't confess to their own actions and cover up. But there is contravening evidence that was presented by whistleblowers saying that what the Washington field office has told you is not true. And they were able to cite specific phone calls, conversations, conference calls where, where a very different sentiment was expressed. Yes. 